My hands are cold, but my heart is warm. Morning. Hey. Headed northbound for sunrise. The clouds look super promising today, which is always exciting. And I kind of have a decision to make where I want to go for sunrise. So I've got two things in my mind right now. I've got uh, Schwabacher Landing, which would have a water foreground element and reflection, which could be beautiful. But then I've also got a little further down the road, a cool old buck and rail fence in the foreground, which would also be cool. And I see some fog up ahead, so that might dictate where I have to go. But the clouds over the Tetons look superb at the moment. And that'll change. I've got 35 minutes before sunrise, so uh, the clouds will definitely be moving around in the next 35 minutes. But I like what I'm seeing so far. Should be a great sunrise photo opportunity coming. And then I'm going to go look for critters. I'm excited. It's going to be a great morning. Pretty nice out. A little fog, some great clouds over the Tetons over there. Just gotta hope we get the light this morning. It's looking good. Uh, I just fell into a hole, a big badger hole or something. Uh, I couldn't get my shoe out. So I had to pull my my foot out of my shoe to get it out of that hole. I'm lucky I didn't break my ankle. I think I'm where I want to be. I'm having a bit of a dilemma here, trying to decide to include this fence in the scene or not. I'm not sure it helps the photo. I might just clean it up if I go right up to the fence and just have kind of the meadow the fog, the mountains, the clouds. So I think I'm going to try and shoot it both ways, assuming I have time. If the light cooperates, then I should have enough time to shoot it both ways. And I can think about it a little bit more, but I think the light's coming. So I better get set up and, and ready to go so I don't miss it. The clouds got pink for like 30 seconds and then it went away. So hopefully it comes back. The light's just starting to hit the tip of the Grand Teton here. So there is some light coming through. I just, I guess uh, there's some clouds that way that blocked out the sun. So I'm gonna hang in here and hopefully it gets better. Well, the light is gone. No light hitting the mountains at all, or those beautiful clouds. Behind me to the east, there's still some light working on those clouds. Uh, man, I had huge hopes that that light would make it through and light up these gorgeous clouds and the mountains have fresh snow on them. It really had excellent potential this morning. Hasn't really happened yet though. I got just a few seconds of pink skies and that was beautiful. Uh, but it didn't last very long. It didn't give me much chance to adjust my composition and, and kind of fine-tune things. But I'm kind of bummed about this morning. I thought this was really going to happen. And it still might to a certain extent. So I'm going to hang in here for a little while and uh, see if this light breaks through. Because there's still great clouds, still great fog. The mountains, of course, are still there. Uh, so... There's still a reasonable chance I can I can salvage this uh, and we could get some really good nice light. I hope. The light just didn't happen over there. Everything was set up really nice. Beautiful fog, great clouds. 
reasonably clear skies to the east, but damn, the sun just got stuck behind those clouds. Oh well, I'm going to walk back to the car, regroup, and see what else I can find this morning. Should be a great day regardless here. It's cold, it's like 19 degrees. My hands are a little bit chilly. Uh, otherwise, I'm feeling great. Yeah, look at a little bit of light, maybe. I'm gonna sneak in and touch the top of the ground there, so. I've got a few minutes I'm walking back to the car here. I can pull over and make some photos if it looks good. It's not as good as it was earlier, but could still turn out to be a decent photo in this shoot anyways. Never give up, never say die. Okay, walking back to the car and guess what happened? Ta-da! The light came! Better late than never. Beautiful. So I'm making a few quick photos over here, just keeping it simple. Trying to include this big cloud up here. Trying to include the fog. Obviously the mountain. Uh, shooting pretty wide. And uh, easy shot. F5.6, 40th of a second, ISO 64. I'm not including a foreground element in this because where I'm at right now doesn't work, but I'm going to rearrange myself to try and get this fence in here and make a quick shot of that before the light goes away. Ooh, it's cold out. My hands are cold, but my heart is warm. Anyway, it turned out to be beautiful. Um, it could have been better. It almost always could have been better. But I'm glad the light did break through and light up the mountains. Turned out great. So now I'm going to keep moving, see what else I can find once I warm up. All right, today my listening material is not a podcast, it's an audiobook. And it is Neil deGrasse Tyson, and the book is called Astrophysics for People in a Hurry. And it's very interesting. And uh, I have an engineering background, but I never studied astrophysics. And it's fun to listen to that kind of stuff and learn something new. And Neil deGrasse Tyson is very entertaining, so I'm enjoying that. And that's my listening material of the day as I drive back and forth between the town of Jackson and Grand Teton National Park. Check that book out if you haven't already. I like it. that's it for the day I'm gonna head home and call photography over for me for today it's a beautiful morning uh, did get some nice sunrise light after all <laughs> I'm so glad about that uh, wasn't able to find any critters and that's generally how it goes you know I I love to come out and I love to make videos where I get a beautiful sunrise some critters some whatever a bunch of stuff going on but the reality is most of the time that's not how it goes you know a lot of times when I go out I don't take one photo because nothing's grabbing me and nothing uh, is uh, compelling me to take a photo so uh, I did make some photos this morning of the sunrise and that was good enough and then that's it so the days when I get multiple things going on are super awesome and uh, I don't want every video to be like, oh my God, this guy, every time he goes out, he gets beautiful sunrise and he runs into a bear or an owl or whatever, because that's not how it is. So uh, this one will just be a kind of a short video of sunrise photography, because that's all I got today. And that was good enough. Had a great time. So have a great day. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And um, I'll see you next time. Later. Later.